Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys five crucial security settings you should enable on your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. These settings are gonna make sure that your Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is secure from as many angles as possible. So let's dive in and get started right away. So the very first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to the settings, you wanna scroll all the way down and go into battery and device care, and then over here, you're gonna see something that says device protection. So you want to enable this and then you want to turn this on. So basically what this is, is this is a malware, virus and spyware protection that's built into the phone. It just needs to be turned on. So when you tap on turn on, it's going to give you a quick pop up. Just tap on turn on. And then what you can do is you can do a first time scan. And what that's going to do is that's going to scan your entire phone to make sure that it is clear of viruses, spyware or any kind of malware it actually scans the system and also every single app that's installed on your phone. So I'm gonna cancel this for now, okay? But just make sure you run this. Maybe you can run this at least once a week or maybe twice a week. Or if you want, you can tap on this button here, okay? Go into device protection settings and simply make sure this is enabled. So that's gonna auto scan apps every day and also auto scan when installing new applications. So either you do this automatically or you can do it manually, it's gonna be up to you, okay? When this is running in the background, it could slow your phone down a little bit. So in my case, I prefer to do these things manually, but regardless, the S23 Ultra is such a powerful phone, it's not gonna slow your device that much. Now I will let you know one more thing about the device protection. Certain carriers and regions block this. So if you don't see this on your phone, for example, if you have a Verizon phone, you may not see this phone, but it is available on many Samsung S23 Ultra variants and, and with many carriers. But I do know that some carriers and regions do block this feature, unfortunately. Now there's one more thing you wanna do in relation to device protection. So after you actually turn this on, go to the settings and go to about device care, okay? Make sure you click on update security engine. So when you tap on update the security engine, it actually updates the device protection we, we just talked about to the latest version. So in my case, the latest version is already installed. Make sure you update that security engine so the device protection is up to date. Let's move on. All right, next option, back in the settings, you wanna scroll down just a little bit and you wanna to go to security and privacy and then scroll down just a little bit more and go into secure Wi-Fi. Now this is a special setting. It comes free with Samsung phones. It's basically a built-in VPN server for your phone. So when you connect to any Wi-Fi that you think is not secure, such as if you go to a coffee shop, if you go to the airport, or if you're connecting to any public Wi-Fi that is not yours, you can use this to securely connect to that Wi-Fi which is gonna encrypt the traffic on your phone so the person that manages the other Wi-Fi cannot see what data is being transmitted from your phone. Believe me, they have ways to do that. So you do have to give it a permission for the location. So tap on continue, all right? And then it's gonna say ready to protect. You're gonna see this interface. And basically every time you're out there and you're about to connect to a public Wi-Fi in a coffee shop, airport, whatever, you can first tap on protect and then connect to the Wi-Fi and then do your things and all that's gonna be secure. Now I do wanna let you know, you only get one gigabytes of traffic per month for free, but if you do click it, you can purchase more if you so desire. I don't recommend it. What I do recommend you do is use it intelligently. So let's say I'm in a coffee shop. If I'm just gonna browse the web, looking at bestbuy.com, I don't have to have secure Wi-Fi. That's not really private information. But if I'm gonna go into one of my bank accounts and log into my actual bank account to check my balances, then I would actually, let me stop it, click on protect, do my banking, and then click on stop again. And the reason I'm doing that is to save my protection plan for the month. But of course, like I said, based on your needs, you can buy additional protection if that's what you want. Let me see how much that is. So for example, uh, for one month is $2, it's unlimited protection. For 24 hours, it's 99 cents. This would make sense for somebody that is conducting business and they just need it for 24 hours. 
but not for a month. So it's going to be up to you. But again, personally, I just use it for simple things like logging into sensitive apps, but I stop the protection as soon as I log out, okay? Any kind of regular browsing like Facebook, Twitter, you don't have to use secure Wi-Fi. All right, next thing you wanna to go to the settings, okay? And then you wanna to go to security and privacy again. All the way down, you're gonna see other security settings. Tap on it, scroll all the way down, and make sure security policy updates is in fact enabled as you can see. So this is gonna make sure your phone is secure with the latest security policy from Google. And also, let's take a look at this guy right here. If I click on this one, you can see this is gonna allow updates from Samsung, not Google, from Samsung to be installed automatically to improve the security and performance of your phone. So you can have these enabled so it just happens automatically. And if you're in here, you can tap on check for update. If there's any updates, they will apply but you can see right now, because I'm on auto update, uh, it says I am already up to date. So that's fantastic. This portion here is something new. So that's great that they have that there as well. Now, one more thing that's also very crucial is this option right here. Back in security and privacy at the bottom, look at this over here. It says install unknown apps. So when you click this, what you want to do is you want to make sure basically all of these guys are turned off. You have to turn these on selectively and turn them off when you're not using them. So for example, if I go to the Chrome browser and if a website is asking me to install an application, if I have this enabled, it's just going to install the application without a warning and that could be a malware. So make sure this is turned off. However, sometimes when you go to Chrome and you're browsing, you do need to download applications if you know what you're doing. In that case, you can turn this on temporarily, allow the installation of unknown app, and then come back and turn it off for additional protection. And you can see you can do this with any one of these available applications. So if somebody sends you an application package as a Gmail attachment, and you know that to be valid, you can have this enabled, but most of the time it needs to be disabled so that unknown app cannot be installed unless you give it express permission. So just something to be aware of that it's here, okay? If you ever see this pop up for no reason, you do know that something is trying to install an application that is not known by Google, is it's not known by Samsung, it's just some random application. So at least you know what, what what's going on and how to manage it. All right, the final thing I'm gonna talk about, again, has to do with security updates. So go back into security and privacy, okay? go into updates, and this one right here is specifically for Google Play system update. So you can see this one over here is all the way from November the 1st, so maybe it's about time I check for an update. It might be available, it may not be available. But we're gonna check it by tapping this guy right here. It's gonna say checking for updates, and if it's up to date, then we're good to go, but looks like we did need an update. So it has been applied, but it's gonna ask me to actually restart the phone to complete the update. So you can see it's actually very important that I check this because if I hadn't checked this, it wasn't happening automatically for some reason. So I was actually out a couple months, so now what I can do is I can tap on restart, it's gonna update Google Play with the latest security patches, I'm gonna be good to go. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something new. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.